Good morning! It's the Nintendo Kid coming at you with the Nintendo Kid vlogs about Ninja Turtles! I don't even know why I picked Ninja Turtles. Is um, I'm slightly sick right now. I have a... Yeah, yeah, we'll just call it slightly sick. So, um, Ninja Turtles. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just gonna randomly just talk about, uh, Ninja Turtles. Because, of course, that's what you do if you're going to uh, make an episode about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff. So, um, growing up, I had only ever known about the, uh, you know, the, uh, the 2000 series, which was, like, amazing and is, like, still the best so far. And really loved it. I eventually... Um, ended up going on the 4Kids website to try to watch every episode ever made. But, of course, they don't have that anymore. Or the rights to it. So that sucks. Um. Let's see. Uh, so this year, of course, the, uh, the new Ninja Turtle television show came out. And I was really excited for it, even though I knew the animation style would be different. Um. I got up to the theme song, and I actually left the house. Um, I, I just, like, I got up midway through the theme song, and I just, I walked out of my house, and I, I just breathed in some cold air. I came back in when it was over, and I barely tolerated the rest of it. Um, it's actually very bad, uh, to say the least. None of the turtles sound like they ever did before, besides maybe, like, Mikey, um, of course it's not as, uh, you know, I, I, I think the bad thing about it is it's not, it's not super happy, like the, like the 80s series, but it's also not dark, like the, uh, 2000 series, so it's like in the middle, you know, I think another thing is that April's a teenager, that just looks bad. Um, what else is there? Um, although the toys are cool. I have some of those. Those are pretty sweet. So, it's like... It's, it, it, really, the whole thing about it is... Usually, when they remake something, it's never as good as the way you remember it. Because, I mean, like, that's what movies are about now. You know, it used to be about sequels and then prequels, and now it's like, remakes, and then re-releasing movies in 3D. You know, especially if they're coming out with a, uh, another movie in that franchise. So it's like, because the, uh, the new Monsters, Inc. movie is coming out next year, the prequel to Monsters, Inc., of course it's a prequel, they are, uh, re-releasing the movie in 3D. And I'm going to give you a good example of all of these things. Star Wars. First off, you had 4, 5, and 6. So that was like, duh. It's meant to tell a story. It was about sequels. Then it was about prequels. <coughs> the prequels never going to be as good as the originals. And now there's going to possibly be more sequels. 7, 8, 9 made by like Disney or something. But, la uh, <laughs> uh, last year, they re-released The Phantom Menace in 3D. And next year, they're going to be releasing Attack of the Clones in, next, in 3D. Then in 2015, they're probably going to be releasing uh, Revenge of the Sith in 3D. Then in 2017, they're probably going to release A New Hope in 3D, which I will probably end up seeing. And then in 2019, they'll end up uh, re-releasing... Um, what was it called? The Empire Strikes Back in 3D. Then in 2021, they shall re 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 like super re for all the um the originals release the Return of the Jedi in 3D. So it's like wow, just wow. Yeah, sorry I went off on a tangent there, even though I was talking about Ninja Turtles. But anyway, I shall see you guys next time.